Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna and the first day of spring. My name is Bruce Turner. Greetings from our home here in Lynchburg, Virginia. So glad to have you with us for today's Morning Manna. This is episode 2989. Today's episode is titled, Oh No, or is it, Oh No, stay tuned. Do you struggle with being able to say no? Are you attempted and frequently find yourself saying yes when later down the road you regret that you didn't say no? It's a struggle that a lot of us have. And I want to talk about it a little bit, again, from the book of Nehemiah and chapter 6. It's an interesting story. We already have talked about the amazing uh, task that was before uh, Nehemiah and some of the opposition that he dealt with. But today I want to kind of focus more on distractions. Now, verse 1 says, Now it happened when Sanballat, Tobiah, Geshem the Arab, and the rest of our enemies had heard that I had rebuilt the wall and that there were no breaks left in it, though at that time I had not hung the doors and the gates, that Sanballat and Geshem sent to me, saying, Come let us meet together among the villages in the plain of Ono. But they thought to do me harm. So I sent messengers to them, saying, I am doing a great work so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease while I leave it and go down to you? Hey, Nehemiah, there's a conference in Ono. We'd love to invite you to come down there and meet with us. It's going to be a really great time, but they had something else in mind, and Nehemiah knew that. And I love his answer. I'm doing a great work so that I cannot come down? Why should the work cease while I come down to you? Now, one of the most helpful things that we can do to resist distractions is to remember that God has called us to a great task. He's called you to a great task. And that's true of every believer. I don't care how young or how old you are. You are called to a tremendous work today. I trust you know what that work is. And by the way, don't compare your tremendous work with other people's tremendous work because God has called us each to a tremendous work, regardless of how small it may seem in comparison to the work others are doing. Now that task is to model a different lifestyle so that those who are being ruined by wrongful practices, in other words, giving into distractions and not being able to say no, will see something that offers them hope and deliverance. Now, in Nehemiah, we discover that things have been going really well. And have you noticed that, (laughs) especially when things seem to be going well, the distractions often come? You know, in Nehemiah's case, they were just days away from seeing the vision completed. All they had to do was to hang the doors and the gates. And Nehemiah was at a very dangerous time. You know, when the novelty of the vision is worn off and people are tired and you're almost done, it's easy to get distracted. So easy. So how do you learn how to say no? So I'm going to give you some helpful hints, (laughs) some helpful tips for saying no. The first one is a little obvious and may me may not be your preferred way, but be direct such as no, I can't or no, I don't want to. Here's another tip. Don't apologize and give all sorts of reasons. 
don't lie because lying will lead you to guilt. Well, no, I really can't do that because I've got to. And then you tell them something that's not true. Remember that it's better to say no now than to be resentful later. Be polite, such as starting out. Thanks for asking. For us as believers, one thing might say, you know, that sounds really interesting. Let me pray over that and get back to you. Don't say, I'll think about it if you don't want to do it. <laughs> if you don't want to do it, you're really not, you've already made the decision. You're not going to think about it. That's dishonest. That's only going to prolong the situation and make you feel even more stressed. Remember that your self-worth does not depend on how much you say yes. So learning to say no it's one of the most important things that you can do for yourself. Nehemiah said, oh no, <laughs> I'm not going to oh no. Father, I pray that you'd help us to deal with distractions that may come up today, uh, this week, uh, this month in our life. Help us, Father, to recognize that you have called us, each one, to a tremendous work and that nothing should distract us from that work. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. Just a rather simple site, I must say, just a place for you to go and listen to the episodes. You can comment on them there. You can share them from there as well. You can also listen to Morning Manna on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spreaker, Stitcher, all of those podcast apps. You can download and listen to Morning Manna. Thanks for listening. I'll be flying to Greenville, South Carolina later this afternoon. I'll be at a conference there, homeschool convention. If you happen to be in the Greenville area and are at that convention, I'd love for you to stop by the MediShare booth and say hi. I'll be doing my podcast remotely from Greenville, and so the audio will be a little bit different, but I'm looking forward to being inspired to share with you what I share there. Till tomorrow morning, and don't forget to enjoy spring today. This is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.